guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to sit down with you guys and show you how I get these really cute bubble braids. They're super easy for summer, they're perfect for second day hair, and they only take like five minutes, which is the best part ever. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, then stay tuned. Hair so freaky. Anyway, this style is really great for second day hair. If you've already curled your hair, this is from yesterday. My chair is so creaky, I'm so sorry. But I have my extensions in and obviously you can see some of my shorter pieces. It doesn't really matter for this hairstyle. It doesn't have to be totally blended. So if you're wearing extensions, don't worry about that. So for the style, you're gonna need some of these little clear elastics, your hairbrush. And if you need any texture for this style, if you've already curled your hair, if you have dry shampoo in it, it should be fine. Um, if not, if you want to create second day texture, I would definitely recommend either like a sea salt spray or a volumizing dry shampoo. I would definitely recommend the Herbal Essences White Grapefruit Dry Shampoo. It's really good for texture and volume. Um, so if you're starting with first day hair, you definitely want some texture for this. I'm going to start by splitting this down the middle in the back. And again, I am wearing extensions. So I am probably going to pop a hat on today. I don't really care as much about the back of it. If you have long hair already, Good for you, honestly, you're blessed, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, so if you're wearing extensions with this look, I would definitely probably recommend like a hat or doing a zigzag part down the back of your hair just to make sure that it's a little bit more concealed, a little bit more discreet. I'm gonna start by brushing out the hair just to make sure there's no major tangles. I'm gonna toss all up the texture just a little bit, just for some more volume. And then I'm going to tie this off as two pigtails. Give it a little tug just for some volume. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. <laughs> I look like Wednesday Adams. So from here you're just going to Pull up the top a little bit just for some texture and now is the time to pull out any front pieces that you want to hang out that becomes much more difficult as you move down into this pony and just check and make sure it's how you want it Definitely make sure that this part is all perfect before you start moving down. It becomes increasingly more difficult once you start the bubbles. And so, now's the time to get your volume going and your front pieces. And then again, this is super easy. You are just going to move down to wherever you want. I'm probably gonna do two, so I'm gonna move right here. and you are going to pull this lightly and then pull at the bottom just for a little bit more puff. Then you're gonna repeat the same on the other side. Ow! My press-ons keep getting snagged in everything, which means it's time to do new ones, but it was time for that. Okay, and then you are going to do the same on the other side. Make sure it's about the same and repeat this little tugging. Definitely be gentle and make sure that you like the way this looks because like I said, once this is you know, bubbled all the way down, it's really difficult to go back and work retroactively. Um, so. Okay, it does look about even to me. I'm, I'm doing this in my camera viewfinder, so. That's literally how easy this is. You don't even really need a mirror. It's more so guidance. Okay. Do another bubble and then I'm gonna pull this down ever so slightly because I don't like how close those are. If 
You can also dress these up a little bit more by taking a bobby pin and like swooping this around and tucking it in. But honestly, I have no idea where any of my bobby pins are. I bought so many in my life and I think I have like one that's holding an extension in at the moment, so. Now the straightener is all heated up. I'm just going to go through and just pull a couple beach waves. And if you don't know how to curl your hair with a straightener, I do have another video. I will link it down below. And if you're like me and you weren't blessed with super long, beautiful hair, um, if you're worried about your track showing, like mine definitely are in the back, problem solved. Grab a cute hat and you're good to go. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you tried it out. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.